All right, guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're looking at the 66th ranked NFL player for the year of 2022. His name's DeForest Buckner. And I'm pretty sure he came in at number 27 last year, if my memory serves me correctly. This is a player that really stuck in my mind. I've just woken up, uh, had, a, had a fairly decent sleep. I'm probably going to feel, I, prob I probably feel um, as good as I'm ever going to today. So I'm going to sit back down and, and crack back into some more, more videos. And uh, today... Our third day on the job begins with DeForest. I just feel like DeForest lives up to his name. Uh, he's like a big tree. <laughs> you know, as these players get older and their joints get um, older, you'd think that some of them would actually start creaking like that as they play. I know some bodybuilders do. But yeah, this guy's an absolute tree. Where, where did he come last year? 27! I tell you what, that's a real success. DeForest is a freak of nature. DeForest Buckner said it starts with me up front. Buckner gets a sack after having a team... He is an absolute freak of nature. If we, if we ever get a chance to see just how long his arms are, and not only that, just how big his hands are, you guys are going to be absolutely flabbergasted. Nine and a half sacks last year. Just going out there and just raising, you know, just... He wraps... Look, if he puts his wingspan out, he's like a... He's like a, 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 a deep, deep trawler fishing net. You know, he makes a big loop with his hands and just takes, takes in um, whatever he can acquire as far as opposition's... Um, as far as uh, opposition players, not fish. Kane everywhere. Brady, feeling pressure, he's gonna go down! The dude is huge, and he he don't move like your average big guy. DeForest Buckner was there, one of the best defensive players in the league. Mac Jones backs the throw, now he's flushing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mac Jones don't want to borrow that. Sack! <laughs> You know who I'd learn that from? It works a little different for him, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I have heard something about these, um, these, I don't know what they, they call them turtle caps um, in the NFL. <laughs> but what it looks like to me is a, a classic rugby headgear that's been stretched over the top of a helmet. And I'm assuming that that, you know, if they do indeed target one another with the crown of the helmet, that that's meant to, that's meant to sort of decrease uh, the risk or the shock factor, but what it looks like to me is an absolute disgrace. Oh, because he's 6'8", default. A disgrace to rugby. I, st I stopped being swim, so... All he does is swim. He's trying to make the Olympic team. Yeah, honestly, I can't take those guys seriously. I don't know about you. The forest height and limbs make him stand out. The dude's like... Six, seven, three hundred pounds. He's long. <laughs> that guy, he's 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 like one of the guys that literally like you can give him any set and he'll find a way to beat it just by just using his length, just keeping you away from him. Hey, sometimes you gotta push. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta pull. Yeah, you know, you get guys with, with the with the longer arms, you know, even if you get your hands on them first, if they have the power to, you know, lock that arm out, they can cause some problems. Look, I'm not sure about arm length, but as far as hand width, he's the biggest in the NFL. His hands is what stands out to me. The way he can grab somebody's shoulder pad and toss them to the ground like a rag doll. I'm not surprised, Max. I'm not surprised. One play that it ain't from this year, but one play that sticks out is when we was playing the Vikings, and he kind of like just like tossed the guy. Oh, and shit. it was like, wow. Like, how? Like, how do you do that? Holy. Like, he just got a mindset that, you know, he's, he can do anything. He gets a lot of double teams, and he's able to have, you know, his teammates play off of him because the offensive line is always worried about, you know, where the force is. A sack for Indianapolis. It means a lot, though, when I'm playing next to a guy like DeForest Buckner. He's getting crazy push and getting penetration up the middle. You know, he's flushing the quarterback to me. 
Good pressure up front by DeForest Buckner. So, you know, it's just, I appreciate him so much. Second set. Oh! Dude is unbelievable. <laughs> He's next level. Yeah, you want, yeah, you do. You, you, you want to be, um, you want to be making defensive line plays. You want to be on the defensive line next to that guy. No doubt about it. He takes up two spots. You know, he's, he's almost like a cheat code. Um, and he comes in at number 66 on the list. It's a drop of almost 40 places. But still, I enjoy him. And I hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, get the get the voice box warmed up, so to speak. Wet the whistle. Uh, <laughs> and continue. Because there's only one thing to do. And that's to get into this list. We're almost, well, we are actually a third through. So that's a success. I'll see you guys in the next one. We will look at Derek Carr. QB for the Raiders. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.